Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello. Hello, Portia. I've been trying to call you since I left to go see Santa Claus at the North Pole. I was looking for my invitation out of Thanksgiving, but I didn't get it. And um, I don't know if you sent it or not, but of course, you see, I did not attend your wedding. Now, this man is what looks like your husband in real life. I don't know why in the world do you keep uh, putting fillers on him. Like in that pic, that's a filler. Because in the last pic that you just got, pic, got, just got finished seeing, that is not him. Oh, see, that is him. And it was taken when Fallon called herself being married to him, you know. And he was older looking. You know, that's him. But man, that you keep showing, he got face tunes. But hey, there's neither here nor there. You're our Mrs. Gabadia. He's married to you. You had two weddings in the state. Okay, uh, but I never saw anything far as, how do you say it? I never saw his uh, mother, and you did not tell me he was a serviceman, girl. When did that happen, okay? When did that happen? We, 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 you know, we ain't been trying to get into the business no more, but I don't remember you ever saying or him making a uh, post about him being in the military, girl. So that's something new. And I know you called up People Magazine and had them do a story on you, and I'm sure they paid you for all of your trouble of letting them in and filming your wedding, okay? So is that Isu, Isu, uh, Portia? Okay, what was his name? I don't remember. And where is your wedding from Africa? Girl, you couldn't get nobody out there to host your wedding? Because his mama should have been there, for one. It should have been one of those weddings. Should have been in Africa. Benin. That's where he's from. I mean, Lord knows you did make a beautiful wedding. Well, I'm sorry, a beautiful uh, wife. Uh, and you were beautiful. Your wedding dress and all the other ensembles you proud to wear. But I should say you did wear. But they were like two penises on his uh, shirt, on his uh, wardrobe, his garment, his tribal wear. Do y'all see them? Or it could look like a crayon too, but they look like two penises to me. I don't know where you were going with that. Ugly, ugly, ugly. But then again, this is what what she does. She dresses up herself and don't dress up silent. So that is where I am trying to figure out when did he become a serviceman and what is all of that decorative looking like a soldier. But yeah, y'all talk of nothing about that. Uh, is this something else he add on to his portfolio that he's going to talk about maybe later on? Or maybe it was just for show. I don't know. But I have to give you your props, girl. You were very beautiful. I mean, were y'all trying to get that Diana and Charles of Wales, uh, Prince and Charles of uh, Britain, uh, William and Harriet, Mama, King Charles's ex-wife? Were you trying to look like a girl? Because that's what it was giving me. And then we have you and him and y'all are married. Congratulations. Now we got to count down to see how long it's going to last. Okay. So you were over there in Africa and been in Africa with those said ladies giving you a little festival, a little celebration. They, you did a dance over there. They showered you with 
garments, I guess. It showed you their hospitality and been in Africa. But again, Benin was not represented, okay? We didn't have Simon's mother. Well, I didn't see Simon's mother there. Then I'm sure she should have took a picture. Of course, you should have took a picture of her mom. Of he, oh, sorry about that. His mom, okay? So they gave him auto tunes on that particular one, too. Again, auto tunes. That's not how you look. Now, in that picture over to the left, it gives a feel, but it seems like it's kind of distorted. You know, those are not him. Uh, like, girl, start using face tunes. I would have thought you would have stopped using them by now. But it just is what it is. You had a lovely wedding. Everybody seemed like they were in good spirits. I'm sure you had a blast. I'm sure it's taped uh, for you to sell. Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know what how or what anybody would want to see it or anything of that nature, because you gave us some very nice pictures of yourself, your wedding, and of course of Simon, your husband. So yes, I'm guessing. You know, I'm not running to the courthouse to try to find out is it filed? Are y'all really husband and wife? You know what I'm saying? Or, or are those records? seal <laughs> but yes i cannot say anything you were flawless but again uh i don't know what the representation of you been married over here and did not get married over there uh and then and i'm saying but i guess it is what it is girl you didn't call me back but you believed in yourself honey you had claimed it uh, on all types of, uh, I don't know. Let me see. All types of, I'm not sure what to say. I don't know what I am saying at this time, basically. But you had put it out there in the atmosphere that you were Mrs. Gubadia, okay? And on November 25th, you made history with that for so hey bravo didn't give two shits of a sheep's tail to do anything they didn't film it they didn't want to take pictures of it they told you you can't come back jack you can't come back but people has represented you real well they took the best shot from your wedding uh i don't understand why you didn't invite kenya to your wedding i mean i guess she got left out like i got left out but it's cool. Don't, don't try to call my phone now because I got a new number now. Don't want you to uh, tell me how things look because People Magazine was just giving me everything. Okay, everything that I need to know. But, of course, they did not have a picture of, uh, your, uh, of course, um, what you call it, uh, Simon's mother. But we did see Miss Diane. And Miss Diane was represented. I'm glad Larry was on her um hand he was escorting her down the aisle glad about that glad about that so larry has stood the test of time uh well uh is your mom and him still living in sin girl like you and simon were living in sin and uh y'all wanted to make it right make it right as rain i don't know i don't know and i really don't care this time girl how my feelings would hurt i ain't have my nail invitation from you and I would have kind. Yes, I would have. But it's okay. You got what you wanted, which was to be a wife to somebody. Now, um, I don't see how you're going to get on any type of reality show. Because, like I said, he don't want to tell anything. Or you don't want people to know anything about him. And that is weird. That is very, very, very weird, Portia. Because, I'm like, again, I'm still stuck on that um military outfits uh that he had on he was claiming about he was a business owner uh he showed us pictures of his um uh, outside of his business where they had the little uh what do you call it at wheelers that was so-called trying to uh put what do you call it gasoline in those uh some type of fuel in those big tankers and they were driving them i guess all across the world i don't know that's what i'm getting that's what i'm hearing from going to his website and he's uh giving us i don't know what the klc or something like that uh trying to let us know that he's a businessman and you know we knew he had a restaurant that went belly up after what two or three years um 
he's house sitting cars now. Um, I think he's retired. Don't quote me on it. All of it allegedly. But I was just very, very knocked down and surprised that one of your weddings, since you had two, but here in Georgia. Okay. And uh, I think they were in Georgia. Both of them was in Georgia. And you still face tuning his face because that's what he really looked like. That's what he really looked like. But uh, Portia tends to have him wanting to look a little younger. And, I mean, if you're not accepting of him now, you never will be. Because you are now his wife if y'all filed the correct paper, uh, papers in the court system here in Georgia. Because if you never signed them, they're not put into law in a sense. Then I guess you can escape anything if anything comes up to where um, y'all want to get a divorce or something to that degree. Because Cynthia also had high hopes that um, she would be married longer than a year uh, to Mike, and we saw what happened to that. And I'm not going to say she didn't give it all she had, because I'm pretty sure she did, but she was just messing with a man who pretty much put all his eggs out on the table for her to count, but it flew over Cynthia's head. I mean, the man had said he wasn't faithful to the two wives he had prior to Cynthia, and God, uh, lo and behold, he went faithful to Cynthia, allegedly. Um, I think Cynthia would have put up with just about anything uh, other than you messing with her money and, uh, you know, behind her back and you cheating on her, okay? Uh, other than that, Cynthia's a pretty solid woman, per se. Uh, she does straddle the fence a lot. And I got to do, I got to call her up and see what she doing. Uh, I read somewhere that uh, she basically, uh, let me say, she was hanging out with Phaedra. Now, I don't understand how Phaedra would be in her pocket or they would be hanging out when she's supposed to be good friends with Candy. So that's a very, very interesting tale. And I'm sure it will make its way to the tabloids. It will make its way to um some youtuber or influencer talking about that situation because it blew my mind i'm like no the three musketeers were kenya cynthia and candy now where everything took a left turn and um she well we know she got in a fight a fuss fight verbal fight with um kenya when they were on that uh ultimate girls trip and even though they said they had made uh, amends and they're back friends, I don't see how. Uh, because there's no pictures of her and Kenya being taken out there. And Kenya's doing her own thing. I saw a preview of the show she's supposed to be on. Uh, where it's like a military type show where it, it tests your endurance and, and things of that nature. She was driving some type of Hummer or uh, Humvee. That the military people was right. She was, she was taking that. I was like, damn, am I looking at a movie? Uh, it's twirl showing out over there. She was, she was all in character, honey. But uh, that's Kenya's uh, business, and I call her and see what she's doing too. But uh, yeah, I was just getting on your uh, portion, you know, trying to congratulate you first and foremost. Uh, you were a beautiful, beautiful bride. But where is that going to take you now? Is what I want to know. Where is that taking you now? That you have crossed over that hurdle of becoming uh, Mrs. Labadia. So what do we have in store next? Is um, your husband going to go out in the military and, and fight wolves for us? I mean, what, what, what's going on? What What is next? You're married. That's cool. You got it. Understood. Hopefully it's solidified in somebody's court documents in Georgia. Uh, other than that, what do we... What are we going to look for you to do next? That's what we're wanting to know over here. Uh, me and the family wants to know what do we see or what do we or what can we expect from you going forward? Because like I said, it's a, a lot of poppycock and uh, wasted time of you showing me how you can throw a fancy wedding here in the States. Now, girl, I thought we were going over to Africa. And we were going to see some sheep, lions, and bears over there, okay? Or, or some 
uh, we call those um, camels or something to that degree. We say that the girl, that thing, representing uh, the culture where he comes from, his mother being at his wedding as well. Girl. Well, that was one side of the story. Then it's you and Simon's side of the story. And then that's the truth. But that's all I got. I ain't got no more. Make sure you subscribe to the video, to the channel. Okay? And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, Portia.